Hey guys, what's going on? Jabberzik here, back again with another video talking about 3v3, Halo, MCC, everything. I didn't think I'd have to make this video, but um, everything that's just been going on with um, Halo, the release of Halo Reach, um, not only on, MC on uh, MCC on console, but also on PC, and um, just the lack of support from 3v3, and a lot of popular streamers leaving Halo and going back to their respected games, it's just, I feel like um, this is needed for me to vent some stuff off and uh, give you guys a little bit of an insight of what's been going on, because I know a lot of people are not aware of the um, classic Halo Movement Discord server because they don't advertise it on any social media, and I don't know why. Um, but yeah, I'll just get started, get right to the point. This is going to be a pretty long video, I feel like. So, um, first thing first, um, let's, let's just take a look at, um, how MCC is doing right now. Uh, you know, we're all, we're all aware, I've already made videos talking about, you know, when MCC released and everything, and how it, it isn't exactly how we remember it, and how, you know, dedicated servers weren't there and everything. I've already talked about that stuff, so I'm not going to, I'm not going to beat a dead horse. Um, I am going to be talking about some new stuff, though. So, first, I just want to talk about, um, you know, what kind of ranked playlists, you know, when I'm, I don't really have anything wrong with the social playlists, um, the, um, social, uh, I forget the name of it is, the social, uh, cartographer or whatever, where, uh, or, uh no, it's, it's a composer, composer is the word for it where you, um, you know, can search for whatever you want. You can search for snipers, action sack. Um, you can search for 1v1s, you know, 8v8s, snipers. Uh, it doesn't matter. You can search for whatever you want, um, and then you'll get it. Social is fine. Social is actually really well made, and they've done a really good job on that. Um, what I want to talk about is mainly the ranked game modes or playlists that we have right now available to us and why there's a still a lot of problems with them that 3v3 um, is aware of but they're just not doing anything about them for whatever reason. So we'll start with um, the Halo Reach Team Slayer playlist that just came out. Um, so it's you know just normal settings from back in OG Hill Reach Team Slayer. You know you've got Bloom, the, the TU update Bloom, the eighty-five percent Bloom, and then you've got Sprint and Jetpacks and Armor Locks, and you know you can choose your loadout right when the game starts before you spawn. Um, so it's just a standard Team Slayer playlist. Um, nothing wrong with it. It works fine. I've played it. Um, not really my cup of tea. Um, it's nice to be able to play something different. And, um, other than, you know, just hardcore invasion, but, you know, it's, it's fine. I got nothing wrong with it. It's actually one of the few playlists that I don't have a problem with. Um, and then we have Halo Reach Team Hardcore, which, uh, right now I'm a rank 33, so I've played quite a bit of it. Um, the settings are, you know, just as they were. They, you know, the weapons are where they're supposed to be. Um, the only problem that I have with the Halo Reach Team Hardcore playlist is that, uh, we're missing a decent amount of maps that we had back um, in the MLG playlist back in Halo Reach. I don't know if they removed them because they feel like nobody wants to play, you know, Grey Forge maps or whatever. But um, maps that were in the MLG um, loadout or settings or whatever, um, they were, you know, Element. We had, I think we had a version of Warlock. We had Oasis for King of the Hill. We had Bomb on, I think we had Bomb on the Sanctuary. We had Bomb on Countdown and Zealot. And I don't know what happened to that game type. I don't know why we aren't playing Bomb because I'm pretty sure that was there um, when when Halo 4 came out and Halo Reach was at an end. I'm pretty sure Bomb was still there. Um, so, you know, definitely we're missing some maps. Um, I'm glad that they listen to the community in the sense that people don't want to play Penance, which is the remake of Damnation from Halo 1. It's a horrible remake, and um, I'm glad they made it to where we barely get it. I mean, I've played, I've played 50 games, and out of those 50 games, I've gotten Penance maybe you know once or even zero times. Um, so good job on that part. Um, moving down, we've got Halo Reach Invasion, which I have played absolutely nothing from that playlist. Horrible. Uh, horrible decision to bring in Halo Reach Invasion. They should have made being Team Battle ranked. 
Um, you know, I've talked to people inside of the Discord about, you know, Halo Reach being Battle being ranked, and their argument for that is that there wouldn't be enough players in the higher ranks when you get to a level 20, a level 30. There wouldn't be enough people to fill the playlist, which I find hard to believe, um, because, you know, when I search uh, Social Beacon Battle, I get a game like that. You know, it's, it's very quick. I'll be playing at, you know, 3 or 4 in the morning, and I have to wait maybe at the most 30 seconds to find a game in Big Team Metal, so that's hard to believe. Um, but anyway, um, and then, you know, Halo Reach, is just, Halo Reach Invasion is just very boring, you know, it's, 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 it's dumb, like, people don't want to play as elites and spawn with plasma repeaters and plasma pistols as they go up against people that have, you know, you know, pistols and assault rifles and they're at a disadvantage and it's just, it's very boring, you know, you always spawn in the same spot and it's just, it's not an ideal, you know, game mode that needs to be ranked, it should be in the social playlists. Um, you know, if you don't want to bring in Big Team Battle as a ranked mode, then how about Team Snipers? How about Halo Reach Team Doubles? How about, you know, even SWAT I would be fine with. But not, not Invasion. That is not, a that is not a game mode that needs to be ranked. Um, moving down, um, we've got Halo 3 Team Slayer. I'm a level, uh, 7. I've played a little bit of it, but, you know, Halo 3 vanilla settings are just not my thing. With, you know, bubble shields and power drains and radar jammers and flares. I, I don't, I don't, I don't like it at all. Um, and then we've got Halo 3 Team Hardcore, where I'm uh, level 40. I've played a lot of hardcore in Halo 3. A lot of it. Love the settings, everything. Can't say anything about it. Um, I will I will be getting into detail about the game itself. Right now I'm just talking about the playlist. Um, I'm able to find games in, you know, Halo 3 Team Slayer, Halo 3 Team Hardcore, um, Halo Reach Hardcore, Halo Reach Team Slayer. So th those playlists are pretty populated, very good. Um, can't talk about invasions since I'm not gonna even think about going in that place. Can't stand that. Um, and now we now we move down to a really big problem: Halo 2 Classic Team Hardcore, which is something which is you know Halo Halo 2 Classic Hardcore or MLG setting is there. It's just something that will live in my heart forever. I couldn't get enough of hardcore back in Halo 2. I the highest I got was like a 30 or something. I I wasn't. I wasn't that good, to be honest with you, but, um, I mean, it, the settings were just amazing. You had, you know, King of the Hill, you had Oddball on Lockout, you had, um, Bomb on Midship, and just, I think they had Slayer on uh, Ivory Tower, I believe. I'm not, I can't remember that far back, but, I mean, it was just an amazing, uh, playlist to have. I mean, I know the population isn't uh, what it is, you know, today compared to back then in 2005, 6, 7, but, you know, if I'm a rank 2, and I, you know, and Halo, Halo 2 Classic Team Hardcore has been around for a long time in MCC, I'm a level 2 right now, and I have been trying since the playlist came out to search for games, I can't find a game, it doesn't matter if I search at... 10 a.m., 2 p.m., 5 p.m., I can't find a game in it to save my life. And, um, you know, I don't know why they still have it in the game. Um, they did remove Halo 2 Anniversary Team Hardcore because, again, I couldn't find a game in that. It's just, they, the playlists are just not populated. And the reason why they're not populated is because most of the community is on um Halo 2 Cartographer, and I'll show you right now, if you go to the other server here, Halo 2 Project Cartographer, there are 3,095 people online, and there are 15,080 members. That is insane. Imagine if those numbers were in the Halo 2 Classic Team Hardcore playlist. I would find a game every 30 seconds. You know, and the reason, and I'll, I'll get into the reason why everyone's on Halo 2 um, PC instead of... Um, the Xbox Team Hardcore one. I'll, I'll get into that in a minute. So we'll move on to um, another playlist, which I don't play too much because I don't like the settings. Um, Halo 3 Team Doubles. Excuse me. Um, Halo 3 Team Doubles. Um, I don't know how many people are playing that. I was I would assume a lot because a lot of people were asking for Team Doubles um, for Halo 3. 
Um, I'm a level one. I don't like the settings. I don't like bubble shields and all that stuff. So I don't I haven't played it. Can't really talk too much about it. Um, next is going to be the uh, playlist that I think is the most populated. Um, which is the Microsoft 2v2 series. Um, every time I watch a Halo stream, um, it seems that everyone's playing in it. Um, you know, it's it's Halo 3 hardcore MLG settings um, instead of 4v4, it's 2v2. And, you know, just 2v2 Slayer on, you know, Narrows, Construct, you know, Guardian, whatever. Um, I've played it. I am a level 13 um, I mean, I guess it's okay. It's just, you know, hardcore Halo. Um, it's a pretty populated playlist. So I'm not sure why. Um, but, and then the last one is going to be one that maybe could be, um, just as populated as the Microsoft 2v2 series. I could be wrong. I don't know. I haven't played it. Um, which is the Halo 1 team doubles. Um, now I've played, um, tons and tons and tons of Halo 1 on um mcc but i played it in the they did have a 44 playlist that i played in they took it away and they replaced it with the, um, the halo one team doubles one i haven't played it in i haven't really got any motivation to play Halo one because it is really bad on mcc and people will tell you it's really bad um but yeah those, those are the playlists and um you know what they need to do is they need to take out halo 2 um classic team hardcore and they need to take out um, Hail Reach Invasion, and they need to put in, you know, Team Snipers, they need to put in SWAT, or they need to put in something, you know, something. Um, and something they did in, back in Halo 3 that maybe 3v3 could uh, think about doing if they, you know, cared for a second about MCC is, um, you know, putting in Squad Battle. Now, now, Squad Battle was an interesting idea that they put in for Halo 3 um, in the ranked area. Um, squad Battle was just like Big New Battle, except instead of it being an 8v8, it was a 6v6. Um, and what that did was it enabled the time to find a match to be quicker because you have two less players on each team. So it was a really cool idea, and you know I liked it. Um, you know, it was still fun. Um, I think it was the same maps and stuff, and I got to almost 50. I think it was like a 46 in it. But, um, you know, maybe they could, they could think about doing something like that. I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to be moving on to why I'm making this video here. I'm just uh, getting sick and tired of this Discord um, bullshit that I'm a part of here. Um, first of all, we'll, we'll just take a little quick peek at um, this server, which is the Halo 3 community server. Um, this server is just completely dead. Um, I mean, as you can see, the nobody posts in here. I mean, somebody posted yesterday about some, you know, Halo 3 radar 2v2 tournament or whatever. But, I mean, as you can see, the last posts, you know, were from the 22nd. I mean, it's, it's been almost a month since people have, you know, actually had a conversation in here. Um, you know, people do not talk in this um, area whatsoever. It's like Halo 3 is dead or something. I mean, maybe because um, you know, Halo Reach came out and there are people playing Halo Reach but, I mean, maybe you could switch this over from Halo 3 community to Halo Reach community, but like I said, if they actually care. But moving on to Classic Halo Movement, which is um, where the community is, I guess. I mean, still people barely post in here. I mean, we get like, I don't know, two posts a day. I mean, recently, 3v3 has been pissing off a lot of people, so they've been posting um, a lot in here. Um, I don't know. First thing I want to talk about is, I mean, Figway made a point here. I mean, if you look at this picture, you know, he gets 25 kills and wins the game for his, you know, team, and his teammate gets zero kills. And the point that I want to make with this picture, and the reason why this picture is so important is... You know, 3 for 3 claims that there's an MMR system in Halo, and if you don't know what MMR is, it's your matchmaking rank. Um, you're not going to be able to see it. It's in a lot of games. Um, um, other games that I play that it's in, Rocket League. Um, I don't know if there's any other... I, I don't know, maybe Destiny has it? I don't know. But <clears throat> I, don't, I don't play too many uh, multiplayer games other than Halo, so Rocket League has a very, very, very... 
um, good MMR system. Um, on, unfortunately, on console you can't see the number. On PC you can, um, and they do a really good job of matching people not only based on their rank, you know, whether they're bronze, silver, gold, but also because of the MMR. So, you know, three v three claims that there is an MMR system in Halo. I fail to believe it just because of the teammates that I'm getting every single time. I mean, if I'm going plus. 10 plus 20 every game and I'm capping flags and I'm getting hill time and I'm doing every like if I'm the MVP almost every game that I play on Halo Reach I feel like I shouldn't be getting teammates like this on my team because I do I get people that go nig 20 nig 10 every you know every single game um, they have no idea what they're doing they're pulling the flag when all four of um, the other team are up and they're the last one alive. They're just doing stupid things. Um, moving down here, I mean, you know, I just want to do a quick little run through of this Discord just to show you how freaking stupid it is. Um, another problem we're having here is, you know, and this is another example of how 3v3 isn't on the same page, you know. Um, Tashi, he's, uh, he does things for 3v3 on the side of HCS, um, you know, competitive side of Halo. And um, he did a poll the other day asking if they if people wanted penance um, for Anaheim, which is going to be the next uh, LAN event that they're going to have for Halo. Um, and 66% of people said, no, we don't want it. I mean, every single time I get penance when I go into the Halo Reach uh, Team Hardcore playlist, I mean, I get I get people saying, are you kidding me? I don't want to play this map. You know, I mean, they, they say more colorful things, but... Um, yeah, and then we look down here, and Figway notices that in the online qualifiers for the weekend, for the seating for the Anaheim event, they still have pennants in in there. You know, I mean, I don't understand why you would have a game type in the qualifiers if it's not going to be at the event. I mean, like, so you're going to have people practice the map for. You know, the qualifiers, but not for the fans, it's just freaking stupid. Um, and then Kinsey, uh, another person that makes a good point. Um, um, he'll, you know, H, you know, HCS always dropping the ball with lousy decisions. Um, what, uh, if anyone's been watching on Twitch, um, they've been having personalities like, um, um, Kefri, I think he's like an Overwatch pro player or something like that. They've d they've just been bringing in people. They bring in Golden Boy, who's a commentator. They've been bringing in other you know popular YouTubers, streamers, you know people from. I think there was a pro player from Counter Strike playing in these action stack tournaments. Whatever. Um, the point being is that Three for Three Industries is throwing ten thousand dollar tournaments that are on Twitch exclusively on Twitch. Maybe they're being streamed on Mixer too, but um, they're th they're th what are they called? They're called throwdown tournaments, throwback tournaments. I don't know, but they're they're not you know competitive. They're you know griff ball and action sack and just these silly, stupid tournaments that nobody wants to watch. And you know, I mean, if they want to run these tournaments, it's fine. It's whatever. You know, I mean, I guess you know you know give something to the casual community. Um, but ten thousand dollars. I mean that is like what they should be throwing at you know these tournaments maybe the qualifiers they need to be throwing these at the land events not <laughs> throwing at the at these tournaments that nobody cares about um you know and exactly you know they're th every week they're thrown and you know they get 2000 viewers that you know are going to watch but then they're not going to play your game so i don't i just don't get the, what the point is of throwing these tournaments um and anyway, uh, scrolling down here, and I guess we'll just go to my what I've been posting here. Um, let's see here. Let's see here. Okay, so where it starts here in the server, and, and what's really been adding up since yesterday that has been motivating me to make this video. So I post in here that the spawn system is getting worse and worse every day. I've got people spawning in between me and the person I'm be wanting. I'm spawning in. You know, Crossfire, and then I say, fix it, please. Um, and what I mean by this is, like, let's say, I don't know, like, like I mean, the other day on Nexus, King of the Hill, I was, I you know, I just got killed, and 
the other team is at um, top blue and in front of blue, and and they're fighting my teammates that are top green, top middle, and I spawn in between my teammates and them, and I just get lit up, and I'm just like, how is the sponsorism this bad? This is this never happened back on OG Hill Reach. This never happened in 2011 or 2010 ever. It didn't happen. It wasn't a thing. The spawn system was perfect, in my opinion. It worked just fine, you know? You could play the pit, and you could nade Mauler, and they wouldn't spawn Mauler. They would spawn Courtyard. And you know, it's just getting ridiculous. And, of course, you know, I posted that at um, 2 1 a.m. yesterday, and I haven't, I didn't get a response. You know, I mean, we've got Dursky, Gregor, Postums, and Samulet in here, you know, three for three. And I'm not getting a response at all. So I make another post, um, yeah, and, and the reason I make these posts isn't just, you know, to bitch. I don't bitch just to bitch. I bitch because I go through a situation while I'm playing the game that needs to be fixed. So then I post, matchmaking system is god-awful too, and, and, you know, and then I explain, you know, I get the same people on my team every game with no rotation. No rotation meaning that... You know, I get the same negative 11 guy on my team every single game. When the next game, they need to put him on the other team and bring someone from the other team over to my team to balance out the teams. So I say that I get 5 out on Zell Capture the Flag with a guy going negative 11. And then next game, n next game, exactly the same eight people. Same eight people. S they're all on the same team they were on that Zell Up game. And now it's going to be Countdown. And I get 5 out again on Countdown C CTF. And it's just, it's ridiculous. You know, the teams didn't get switched up for whatever reason. The game does not realize what happened in that Zelda game and, and just matches us up like it's going to be all fine and dandy. And, um, and then I say you might as well check out the ranking system because it, the ranking system is invalid. You know, you're, you're, now you're just having RNG games. Um, and then I and then I say you know keep throwing thousands of dollars at these action second events and you know you're not you're not growing the community you're having two thousand people watch these events you know and you're not growing the community and and most of the people that are watching these events are probably just friends or you know people that know the people that are in these tournaments and are just supporting them and then I say if I'm wrong then show me the numbers three for three does not like showing numbers they they don't they don't like showing proof you know they say they say that oh the population is fine in Halo Five the population is fine in MCC the population is doing just dandy you know it's not declining whatsoever but they don't they don't show the numbers they you know and in the last game where we had numbers of the population was in Halo Four and the reason why three for three you know didn't have a population number. Um, like we had, like we had back in Halo Three and Halo Four, is um, because you know Three for Three got scared because um, yeah, they're scared shows to show any numbers because in Halo Four the community talked shit to them, saying, "Oh my God, your game is dead." There's 30 people playing hardcore. There's you know only 100 people in big team battle, and there were only 20,000 people in a day playing Halo Four. And they got butt hurt, butt hurt, and when they came out with MCC, when they came out with um, Halo 5, they didn't give us any population numbers whatsoever. So, I mean, if you want us to shut up, show us the numbers. Seriously, that's all you gotta do. And, and I got really mad here, and I'm just like, if there was actually cared about us, then one of the big shots would come in here and answer some questions, uh, and, and blah, 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 and, you know, I at... You're not, you're not supposed to at the the three for three guys in here, but I do because they're not responding. Um, you know, and I say it's it's not Dursky, Gregor, Postums, or uh, Samuel's fault. It's not. You know, Dur Dursky. Um, I forget what he does. He uh, I think he does some kind of production. Gregor just recently joined, so you know, there's nothing he can do. Postums is a community manager, meaning that he relays, um, you know, what we say back to the developers, the game director, whatever. I don't know what Samulet does. Um, I don't know who Samulet is, um, but you know they work on it through three, so whatever. Um, you know, and we're we're kept in the dark so much because you know we don't we don't know anything, and I mean they the community managers don't tell us anything because the game directors and the devs they don't tell them anything, and if they do, they tell them not to tell us. 
I mean, what are we supposed to do? You know? And then I said I can't even play with uh, my friends on Halo anymore because I'm the only one left, which is true. I mean, you know, you go to my friends list right now, everyone's playing, you know, Dragon Ball Z or Fortnite or whatever. Um, you know, I used to be able to look at my list and it would be nothing but Halo. You know, maybe we'd have one guy playing COD, but most of my lists would be just Halo, Halo, Halo. And it's crazy just how things have changed. You know, not because people have lost interest playing Halo, but because 3v3 has just sucked at, you know, trying to keep this game going. And we've been telling them what needs to be put in the game, and they, they just don't listen. And if they do listen, they don't care. Um, you know, and I say, I say, why can't, why can't Quinn DeHoyo, why can't Frank O'Connor, why can't Bonnie Ross just take, take five or ten minutes out of their day and come in here and be transparent with us and tell us what's going on and do a, do a ask and answer, you know, do a Q and A in here. I mean, why is that so difficult? You, you can't tell me that Bonnie Ross, Quindal Hoyo, or Frank O'Connor is so busy that out of the seven days in the week, out of the 31 days in the month, out of 365 days of a year, they can't pick one of those days and come into this Discord and talk to us for five minutes. Just make a post for five minutes and tell us what is going on in Seattle at your headquarters, what is the issue? What is going on? What is taking so long to fix these issues that we've been telling you since day one? Why can't you fix the field of vision, the shot registration in Halo 1? Why can't you fix the shot registration in Halo 2? Why can't you fix the shot registration, the spawn system, the matchmaking system, in you know the double throwing of the grenades the lag the horrible servers in halo 3 and halo reach why can't you fix the audio issues in halo 2 anniversary what is going on the only game that there's really no problem with it is halo 4 other than on the map pit you go into sword and you get your audio cut out and miss mess with from the rest of the game i mean you know it's just ridiculous like what we've got to go through um, so let's see, looking at my notes here, oh yeah, then in Halo, in Halo 1, if you play the campaign, the shaders are really messed up, um, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna post a link to a really good video about the shaders and what's wrong with the campaign, um, down in the description below, um, just showing the differences from, you know, what Halo 1 looked like on the original Xbox compared to what Halo 1 looks like now on mcc in the campaign you know just just the colors are horrible they're ugly and they're just nothing compared to what they used to be um ex excuse me excuse me when i say halo one it's actually halo pc i i must i must reiterate once again this is not halo one on mcc this is this is a double port this is halo pc which was ported from halo one og so they ported halo reach PC to MCC. It's a double port. And then another double port. Halo Vista. Halo Halo 2 Vista. Halo 2 it, on MCC is not Halo 2 OG. It is Halo 2 Vista. So that's another double port. Um, Halo 3 um, is Halo 3 from what I know. Um, I mean, there's, there's no Halo 3 on PC, so, you know, it has to be Halo 3. Um, but, um, another big issue with Halo 3 is the audio issues that they seem to just not give a shit about. Um, you know, it's been proven by videos, by side-by-side -side comparison, that the audio in Halo 3 OG is not even close to being what it is in Halo 3 MCC. It, it sounds horrible, it's ugly, it's just really bad. Um, and the BR doesn't shoot... Um, with the project with the um, bullet projectiles and, and everything it does not shoot how it shot in Halo 3 OG as well um, I mean we're having constant blood shots in Halo Reach and Halo 3 um, I mean that's pretty much it for those games um, I mean what else is there to say um, horrible spawn system in Halo Reach I mean you know talk about this stuff all day and they just don't care um, and then I say they don't care. 
Um, you know, talking about the big streamers that, you know, played Halo Reach on day one and they gave it a chance on PC. You know, we had Dr. Disrespect, Summit, Shroud, Lyric. Um, I believe we had um, Dakota. We had um, tons of people, tons of, um, you know, people from Fortnite come over and play Halo. And, you know, they just left because there's no, there's no dev support and it's horrible. And when they do support the game, when they do release... Um, updates, you know, we go to MCC updates here, and, you know, they update the game um, every Wednesday. It's just the updates nobody cares about, you know. Nobody cares about putting AR starts in social, in social you know, matchmaking. Um, you know, and then they, now, and then now they're thinking about um, taking out BR starts in Big Team Battle for, um, uh, no, 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 no. They're thinking about taking away DMRs for the Big Team Battle starts in um, Hail Reach Big Team Battle, which is uh, would be a complete mistake, honestly. I mean, why would you take away something that's been there since day one? Like, I don't, I don't, I really don't get it. I really don't see what's going on. You're having people that have never played Halo before come in. Um, because Halo is on PC now, and they're complaining about getting blasted from a DMR across the map because they don't know the maps, they don't know where the cover is, they don't know how to position themselves correctly, they don't know how to, you know, aim with their gun. I mean, like, it'd be different if you spawn with an a assault rifle and they spawn with a DMR. That'd be a different story because that's unfair. But you spawn with the same weapons, the same loadout as the other person. I mean, unless you pick sprint and they pick armor log. But I'm talking about, you know, just the weapons. Um, so, I mean, that, and, that, and that's another huge issue is that 3 for 3 is taking the opinions of new players coming over more so than the people that have been playing Halo since 2001. Which makes absolutely no sense. I understand you don't want to lose those people, but you've already lost you've already lost the people that you didn't want to lose. You've lost Shroud and all these big time people, and they've gone back to playing Apex and PUBG and you know battle royale games. I mean, you know, <laughs> there's just nothing more to say about that. You know, you've you've done you've done exactly what I said you were gonna do. You did not support Halo Reach how, just how Epic supports um, Fortnite, how Rocket League, how Psyonix supports Rocket League, it's it's a done deal, it's over, you know? Now we have to wait until Halo Infinite, and Halo Infinite will come out, and Dr. Disrespect and Summon and Shroud and Lyric will come back and play that, and then they'll play it for a week, and then they'll leave, because you did not make the game how we told you to make it, and, you know... Moving on from that, um, you know, and it doesn't have any Bonnie Ross. Can we get anybody? Can we get Frank O'Connor in here? No, we can't because they don't care. Um, and then, and then Fishman over here, he's the uh, community lead. He's a staff member. He says, he says, chill at adding every single person. And then I say, I say, why does it matter? Nobody responds to anybody anyway, you know. And he says, perfect, perfect, perfect. No one responds. Perfect. Really? Perfect? No, that's not perfect. Um, you know, there's just, we, we have so many people in this Discord, I mean, I, I feel like I'm the only one that gives a shit, I mean, you know, that's not true, Figway gives a shit, um, I mean, okay, let's look at the roster really quick, right, um, Sep7, I think he was like a Halo 2 pro player or something like that, he's an admin, he's playing Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition right now, instead of Halo, um, uh, Mines, we've got somebody playing Halo 2 Project Cartographer, that's good. Uh, Overwatch, League of Legends, um, okay, another Halo, there we go. Nate, Nate is always playing Halo. Uh, World of Warcraft, um, Ace is a pro player, of course he's gonna play, oh, another player Halo, okay, there we go. Um, FIFA, Escape from Tarkov, um... This guy's streaming metal in. Okay, whatever. Um, Dauntless. And this one's this person's playing Overwatch. Witcher 3. I mean, look at this. Like, barely anybody in this server is playing Halo. And this is a Halo server. <laughs> I mean, the, it just goes to show you just how bad the state of Halo is right now. You know, and then me and Fishman have a conversation. I try to I explain to him what the issue is. And, you know, 
and he's just he's just bullshitting me. He's trolling me and stuff, and I and I'm over here just posting nonstop proof. Um, you know, I post Reddit. You know, this you know Reach has the absolute worst spawn system and needs to be fixed. Um, Halo Five had the best spawn system, and Halo Reach and other spawn systems are shit. Brawly Bro says exactly what the community is saying: how they just can't play Halo Reach because of how bad the glitches are and how bad the game is at um, the state of the game. Um, another person talking shit about it, you know, and then I post all my videos of what I said, and I predicted the future, and I've said if you don't do, if the 3 doesn't do this, then this is gonna happen, and look, look where we are, look at the, look at the Hill community, yeah, was I wrong? No, I wasn't wrong. Um, I mean, what else have we got here? And then we just talk and talk, and then, you know, he hasn't said anything, and I posted that and stuff, but, you know, the whole, the whole point of this is just, you know, they just don't care. Three for three industries, they do not care. I've posted everything that I can possibly post in that server, and I'm not getting a response from anybody. And I just don't know what to do anymore. Um, let's see, we're at 35 minutes. Wow. And um, I mean, what what can we do? You know, um, I don't know if I'm supposed to go on Halo Waypoint and post something and have that removed and uh, or if I'm supposed to go on Reddit uh, I, don't, I don't know you know I've, I've done everything I can I've talked on Twitter about you know what the issues are in Halo I've I mean what, what do we got what do we got we've got Twitter we've got the server we've got Halo Waypoint uh, we've got Reddit where else is there to go I don't know I guess I'm just supposed to sit here and wait for Halo Infinite and see how bad that's going to be with wall running and sprinting and a bunch of other stupid sparring abilities that they're going to come out with. I just, um, I'm just at a loss for words, you know, I just, I can't, I can't play Halo in the state that it's in right now, it's, I'm, I'm getting people that quit out every single game. Um, and I'm just getting people, I mean, if I don't get people that quit out, I get people that have no idea what they're doing, and being a level 33 and getting people on my team that have no idea what they're doing is very hard for me to try to comprehend, um, but, um, I don't know, that's, that's it for the video, I guess, I just don't know what else to say, 3v3 doesn't care, I don't think they will ever care. Um, the one, the one thing that I will say, a uh, finishing note, is um, I remember back when Bungie was running things, and uh, back in Halo Three, I would go onto the Bungie.net forums, and you know, not all the time, but a lot of the time, um, I would go on, and there was a game developer, you know, not not a community, not a community manager, not 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 a small fry. I'm talking about, you know, someone that works in the offices. Uh, I'm not saying the community managers don't work in the offices, but someone that is actually hands-on working on the game, whether it be the art designer, the game director, um, the person that works on the campaign, the maps, whatever. There was always, most of the time, um, someone that was really close um, with, you know, things that were going on with Halo 3 and everything on the on the forums and I was able to talk to them ask them questions get answers and you know people say that Bungie were in Halo when they made Halo region it's like it's like you can't really tell me that you wouldn't do the same you can't sit there and tell me that if you knew that this was going to be your last Halo game you wouldn't try to do something new you can't you can't fault Bungie for trying to do something new you know I guarantee you that if if Microsoft and Bungie didn't have a falling out and they were still working on Halo, I guarantee you Halo Reach would look a lot different and play a lot different than it does right now. I guarantee you that. You know, they it, it was their last Halo game. They wanted to try something new. They wanted to see what the, the what the response would be from the community if they put, you know, Sprint and these abilities in and, you know, it it didn't look good. Um, who knows? Maybe they were trying to sabotage three for three and uh, leave the game as shitty as possible because they were um, pissed off that you know they were leaving their baby behind. Um, all I know is that 
you know, when 353 took over after Bungie left towards the end of Halo Reach, they did a good job um, reducing the bloom by 15% and giving us support, giving us no bloom, no sprint for competitive settings. And we thought everything was going to be fine. We thought these guys were going to be even better than Bungie. Um, and then Halo 4 came out and it had sprint and all this stuff that we said we didn't want in it and they just didn't listen to us. And then MCC came out, and a lot of people took a week or two of vacation off um, to play the game, and it was just broken beyond belief, um, you know. And then Halo 5 came out, and once again, they didn't listen to us, you know. We made polls on Halo Waypoint and Reddit and the Team Beyond forums and Twitter saying, we don't want Sprint, we, we, we want BR Stars, we want... Um, no Spartan abilities, and the reason why they said they didn't take these into consideration is because of selective bias. And what selective bias is, I've said this in other videos, but I'll say it once again, what selective bias is, is, you know, I don't know, you know, maybe you guys have taken an SAT or you've taken tests in school where you had to bubble in, you know, either A, B, C, or D, and what they're saying with selective bias is that, you know, you know, a lot of times people would just not give a shit about their SAT and they just pick, you know, C all the time since C is the most popular bubbled in um, answer. Um, but the they'll look at the poll, a lot of people will look at the poll results before they make their, you know, make their selection of what they want to see in the game. Um, you know, A, B, C, or D. And they'll be like, oh, you know, C is the most popular, so we'll pick C. Which I, I can't comprehend at all. I mean, whenever I go to a poll, um, you know, sometimes I, I will admit, sometimes I do look at the results before I make a, my decision. Um, but I make my decision based on what I want to see in the game, what I actually believe in. You know, if I'm the only one that picks it, so be it. You know, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna pick, you know, something that has 99% votes just because it has 99% votes. Um, so that, that, that selective bias thing is completely illogical, and it is the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. Um, so, you know, that's it. They fucked up with Halo 4 MCC, and they fucked up with Halo 5. And, um, you know, I guess, I, I guess this is in baseball, because in baseball, three strikes and you're out. Um, I'm pretty sure the contract between Microsoft and, um, 3v3 ends with Halo 6 or Halo Infinite, um, but Microsoft owns 3v3, so I'm not sure how that's going to work. I, I just remember, you know, reading something when 3v3 first came on and made, um, you know, Halo 4 and everything, saying how this is going to be like a, um, like a three-game deal or whatever, you know, with Halo 4, 5, and 6, and after 6, they would have to renegotiate a deal or something. I don't know if that's true or not. Maybe I'm just spewing bullshit right there, but, you know, um, 43 minutes is long enough. Um, you know, if you watch this video, share it everywhere you go to let people know that 3v3 doesn't care. I'm sure a lot of people know that they don't care. I'm just, I'm being the dead horse, but, you know, I just want to expose this, um, you know, these two servers. Nothing's really going on. Um, Fishman is doing nothing good to add to the solutions that I'm providing and the issues that I'm talking about. You know, nobody on the team cares. You know, just nobody cares. No, nobody cares. So, um, I'll be posting this on Twitter and um, Reddit, and I'll be trying to post this on Hail Waypoint. It'll probably get taken down, of course, um, but it's all good. Um, you know, if you watch this, you know, I don't care if you leave a like, just, just try to get the message across, um, try, try to spread this Discord around if you can too, um, it'd be nice to get some people to come in here and we could have some conversations and stuff like that, um, because that's really dry, I don't know why they don't advertise this Discord on, um, Halo's Twitter, I mean, it's got a million followers, I'm sure a lot of people would be willing to come in here and talk about Halo, um, but, I mean, I know there's other places to talk about Halo, like Halo Waypoint and stuff, but I don't know. I feel like Discord is the easiest way to talk about stuff. It's, it's a very easy to use um, application, but I'm out of here. Thanks for watching. Um, catch you guys in the next video. Later.